So in the, this day and age, mothers have uh, such poor nutrition that many children don't make it uh, to, to term. And some are being born with advanced aging diseases. Right now, one of the markers is uh, C15, carbon-15 fatty acids that are no longer available in our diet, and it's greatly due to low-cutting lawns. As you can see, I've done everything I can on this lawn that's not irrigated, not fertilized, to break thermal transfer to prevent beds from being installed by not tapping the paint, instead doing a vertical uh, string, and then do the horizontal to, to make that edge and therefore then is less a uh, chance the beds will be put in okay so and also it leaves the plants where they're not down regulated like if somebody would butch that edge all of that ends up having the effect of the failure for the grasses to do thermal trans uh, thermal conversion so if they're down if they don't have the uh the thermal break of transfer uh with the edging and they don't have and if they're butched and then don't have solar uh, protection for the, so the soil microbes etc cetera, etc cetera, they're not in a situation or condition where thermal conversion is likely and then the transfer of that thermal increase goes to areas where our general food supplies are uh, 90 percent i guess to the oceans and uh fields but uh, it first showed up with Navy research on why dolphins were dying and half the lifespan traditionally uh, observed. And uh, the marker came back as uh, their food supply had changed because the fisheries depleted um, due to thermal increase and overfishing. But absent the thermal increase, would there have been overfishing is the issue. You see what I'm saying? Um, so if we can... If we can convert as much of the solar radiation to a temperance of heat, because it, it acts inversely too. What you'll end up doing if you do this properly is you'll cool your summers and you'll uh, and your, your and your winters won't be as cold. Or wait, so you'll cool your summers and warm your winters, because largely half of the planet's in winter mode and other in summer, and as much as one is swung to one side the other has to swing back until the planet gives up so anyway and and it's there's a lot more complexity just terminology and blah 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 but it don't really fucking don't really freaking matter because nobody really watches this and nobody really cares it's like uh that's the next generation's problem that they can't carry the term they can't have any expectancy of baseline uh health to compare to these these babies are being born sick and never experiencing health from the get so they don't even have the baseline to be able to say look i don't feel good because that's the way they've always felt how evil do you got to be and what brings this up is i just took that one while they were gone I've talked to him before about these things. Uh, I've, I've, I've demonstrated. I built up the lawn while they were gone. They come back in and the first thing they do is butch the shit out of it. Okay. And they never square in their head. It's like, wait, where's all, where'd all this density come from and stuff? We never had that. We had sparsity. Look at the guy down back past blowing water taking a resource chain that was necessary for human survival. He does the same thing. But they had time to butch their lawn, no time to get with me and get me paid for the work I'd done. I don't get it. I, I guess I never will. See how the neighbors here mow this? I'm still down in the other place where I did the other video on babies not making it to term and being born with aging diseases metabolic syndrome, hypertension, diabetes, cancers. So this one here, we're trying to get it a little higher, but the dude went to get a chemical company on it. So I don't know how much longer I'll be here, but you know, at least on the lawns I take care of, there is grass to fly. A lot of these, 
there's hardly anything flying in the air but dust when they mow. Um, the difference is, dust really doesn't benefit anybody. But when there's clippings that are flying around, they land in there. And little edges will touch the soil down in the nice shade, moisture area. Soil microbes will digest it. It'll create a fertility. It'll support the plant. The plant will make oxygen, capture carbon, convert heat, do radiation to cellulose, conversion to hold the heat down. The, it'll create a canopy that can latch the moisture. So if any moisture falls on it, it has a chance to reassimilate to the aquifer and rebalance moisture allocation